Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to review the movie for you called Making Monsters. This is basically about a guy called Chris who is played by Tim Loden. And he, he's a prankster really, he's like a YouTube prankster who's always playing pranks on his missus. You know, trying to wind her up. His missus is called Alison who's played by Alana Elmer. And basically they decide to go on a getaway, have a break, a fun, fun getaway if you like. Just themselves and they rock up at this house. There's, they meet the guy there and they have a big party. They wake up and some weird shit starts to happen. And then they realise that they are the stars of, of a dark web serial killer episode or whatever you want to call it. But the tables have been turned and they are really in a shit situation. And for me, I, I didn't, you know, I, I stuck it on. And, and, and I've got to be honest with you, I quite enjoyed this film. I wasn't expecting it to play out the way I, I, I planned it to. Didn't really know much about the film, saw it, liked the look of it, whacked it on, and I'm really, really pleased I did. It was an enjoyable film. There's there's a lot of... It's, it's not one of these films that have, have not been done before. It's not original as such. But there is some new bits in there that was quite good. I did like some of the, the tense, scary scenes. And if you kind of put your head in their situation of what they've actually got themselves into... It's kind of a creepy film, really, and there is some really, really spooky moments in it. It's not gory as such, but where there is gore, there's meant to be gore. Gore, there's meant to be gore. You know, they hit that nail on the head of when shit was meant to happen, it happened. And when you're meant to see blood, you see the blood. And, and you know, it wasn't just overdone for the sake of splattering the screen and making it a blood fest. So it did kind of keep it creepy. Like I say, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people are going to watch it and they're going to think, oh, all this sort of shit's been done before. It kind of has, but it was just enjoyable to watch. And and the, seeing the realisation of their faces when when they're kick it, when it's kicking in that they're in this position uh, and, and it all unfolding in front of their eyes was really, really enjoyable. Um, the acting, very, very good acting for, for a low-budget film, the kill scenes that were in it were entertaining. The acting was very, very good. The location was creepy and a perfect place to set a house for a horror film where you know where you can just murder people and get away with it, really. Yeah, an all-round entertaining film. It is available on Amazon Prime to watch, so if you have got it, I would definitely check it out. It is a film that, I, like I said, I don't think it's going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um... But, and, and don't expect a lot of jump scenes from it as such. But it, there is creepy parts. You know, there, there, there is... Uh, there was a couple of... I wasn't expecting that moments as well, you know. you know, And, and I did get that from this film. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be putting a trailer on anymore. Um, but I will try and put one in the descriptions if I remember. Sometimes I forget. But like I say, it's, it's on Amazon, and I'm going to rate it now. I've got I've got to give it a score. As you can tell by what I've said about it, I'm definitely not going to be burning this film, so it's going to get a rating. For me, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, like I say, I, I enjoyed it personally, and I would highly recommend it. If you do see it on there, don't scroll past it. You know, you know, definitely check it out. Anyway, that's enough babbling on. Not really much more I can say about this film without repeating myself and giving too much away so i'm going to cut it off there and i'll thank you for watching this and i'll see you guys later